Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. I'm here in front of Norrath's best vendor, Cog. Why is that? Well, it's because he has meat pies. You know how much I love meat pies. <laughs> so, yeah, decided while I'm here, stock up on some meat pies, and then we're gonna go on quite a nice little adventure. So for today's adventure, what I wanted to do was I wanted to do and complete a quest that I've been wanting to do for some time now, and that was to get the Soul Fiend Lands. I think it, well, it's a Shadow Knight only weapon, and I think it's a pretty good one that I think every Shadow Knight should get as they're leveling up. So we're here in the Feralt headed to Kazakh Thule to get the drop that we need to turn in a quest that drops in Kazakh Thule off of a mob. Um, as you can see, we get, or I'm the one leading, so I get a little lost trying to find the entrance to Kazakh Thule, because I haven't been there in forever. I don't, I can't even remember the last time, but eventually we, or I stumbled across the entrance and we made our way in. I want to give a huge shout out to a friend of the channel, Boric, for helping me do this quest. Uh, he didn't have to do that, but I really do appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot so much. Uh, at, the point, at the point of this video, he's probably, he's below 55, um, like in the low 50s, I think. So it'll make, it'll help make, do this quest. <laughs> I know English. <laughs> it'll help me do this quest a bit easier than if I was doing it solo. So once again, man, thank you so much for your help. It's much appreciated. The mob that we need to kill is a lizard ritualist. He's located in the maze of Kazakh Thule. Uh, he's going to be located in the very bottom right of, uh, or bottom east of the maze. Uh, if you're not too familiar with the maze zone, like myself, uh, if you just head east to you hit a wall and then head south, you should reach him. Now, I figured since we're high enough level, we just run through the maze and we shouldn't aggro anything to get to him. But I guess I might have been too low level, or the lizards were too mad at me because, you know, from killing the lizard broodlings when I was so low level because we aggroed them on the way there. Uh, we did end up killing them, you know, it was very easy. They were, they were very low level, you know, it's just a mild inconvenience. We weren't trying to make a train or anything. But we did uh, come across a few of them on the way to him. You'll see the Lizard Ritualist on the top of a little mini pyramid, and he's surrounded by a couple other mobs with him. And he has a pet, a uh, skeleton, because he is a Shadow Knight. He's the level 30, 31 Shadow Knight, and so he will harm touch. So just keep that in mind if you plan on doing this quest. Now, I got Borak here. He's going to go ahead and pull for me because he's such a higher level than me. Hopefully he wouldn't pull any of the ads or just pull the mob himself. I honestly don't know how easily this would have been done by myself with the ads, um, but he went down pretty fast with, or pretty easy with me and Borg together here. And he did end up dropping the Grimly, Grimmy Lance as well as a piece of decayed armor. Now it's time to get a port to Otis and head to Stonebrook Mountains. Now, in order to get Stonebrunt, you have to go through the Warrens, and as you know from the last video, I'm not too familiar with the Warrens. However, Boric, it's like a second home, so he knows all about uh, the Warrens. And he asked, did we want to go straight to Stonebrunt, or did we want to check out uh, the name mobs there? And since I really didn't know the... I've never actually been in that place, I was like, yeah, you know, let's, let's do a little tour, and check out some of the names or check out all the names so he ended up taking me through uh, the warrants and we hit up the names and you know he gave me a nice little tour of the place Stonebrunt is one of those zones i have never visited ever since i've played everquest and it was very different from what i expected i've always seen like the picture on the wiki of like the map but i never knew what to expect uh, what it was like and it was really really interesting uh, for when you know being there for the first time I like I said I didn't know what to expect but it definitely was kind of really really cool and really refreshing to go to a zone that I've never been to in this old game and you know check in checking it out you know 
So the mob that we're going to ultimately need to kill is Disciple Okrot, and he's going to be in the first building on the left uh, as soon as you walk into the village. He's a level 35 monk. But before that, we need to go to a spirit. It looks like a red will-o'-wisp. It's going to be just south of the village at a clearing of grain, and we need to turn the Grimly Lance into him. What's supposed to happen is you're supposed to turn a lance into a spirit and an iridite will spawn as well as giving you an idol of fear. And the iridite will run to the village. That's when you have to go to the village to kill a mob. And then once the mob's killed, then it should spawn an NPC and you give the idol to the NPC. And you get your lance. So we're going to see what happens. Okay, here goes. Bork has buffed us all up. And now we're going to turn in the lance and go kill the NPC. Okay, turn it into the lance, and... Okay... What's going on? Why is nothing happening? Um, hmm... Looks like it just ate the lance. I don't know what's going on. My faction's at apprehensive. Maybe it's not high enough. Crap. Well, this was a waste of time. Oh, man. Oh, that sucks. Uh, sorry, Boric. Oh, my goodness. This was such a waste of time. I thought I could do it with the faction I had. Well, after that embarrassment, I had Boric run me back to the beginning of the Warrens so that I could work on my faction on my own so that we could attempt this at another date. Okay, now that I got my faction up to warmly, we're going to try this one more time. Thanks again, Bork, for helping me out for the second time. This time we just didn't fizz through the maze to make it a lot easier. And uh, I'm going to head killed the Ritualist one more time, and he ended up dropping the Lance again for us. So yay to that. Now we're headed back to Stonebrunt Mountain so we can try to complete this quest finally. Now it's time to hand the lance in to the spirit and get the idol and it should spawn an iridite. We're going to haul tail to the village to kill the mob. And <laughs> Bora decided to go as a halfling this time for uh, when we did this part of the quest. Pretty funny if you ask me, halfling shaman. The mob was in too much trouble, especially with uh, Boric helping me out with the buffs and the heals. But I could definitely see how this could pose a bit of a struggle for lower level Shadow Knights. Or it would have been a bit harder for me if I was doing this solo. Also, I didn't know if any of the other mobs would aggro while I was in here killing them. But it, she, he or she, I'm not quite sure, went down pretty easily. Then once the mob is dead, it spawns the spirit, and you give the idol to the spirit, and lo and behold, you got your new lance. Now you know me, obviously we need to give this lance a test drive, so we're going to give it a bash and see how well it does. This is pretty cool. This is definitely going to help me out as I'm soloing because regenerating health is a lot harder than it is regenerating mana. So I'm hoping that uh, it'll do a lot. It'll do well for me as I level up. Once again, I want to give a huge shout out to Boric. Thank you so much, man, for helping me out do this quest. I really appreciate it. It would have been a lot harder uh, without you. And uh, yeah, thanks. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Take care, and I'll speak to you all again next time. Bye now.